today we are creating pass the street game in game lab of Kudatwadi. So this is the game you can see. So the boy has to pass and go and pass the street. So as soon as he touch any obstacle, then of course it will go back to its initial position. So it's a kind of tough game. And now add it's showing you win. So this is the team which we are creating today. I hope you all liked it. So let's start creating. So let's come to game lab and let's add animation. So the first animation which we need is people scroll down down down. Take this. Then click on add new frame and search here for walking. This one. And we can increase the frame. Then we'll add one more and we are going to add the battery. So add this background. Done. So let's add the Let's add the background first. And then set animation to it. So then draw the slides. Now because it's too large, I'm going to scale it. Scale dot scale zero point one. That's fine, and we will put it here. Eighteen by three thirty. Too fast, you can decrease its screen size. You need to make it little more down to the fifteen and let's make it twenty. Sorry, I was doing 358 growth 250. Now it's fine. Now what and next what we need to do? We need to create. We have to create the box. I mean the pillars which are coming obstacles. So let's create one more variable named as obstacle one. So this there would be Six obstacles. Okay, so we will put it four times because we will create it with the help of graphics. So here you will write position fifty, fifty, ten, seven. When I run, I can see yeah, it's here. Then we can give it shape color. As white. Let's make this player little dark to eighteen is fine. 
then like this we have to create more such obstacles six times one three four five now let's rename all of them we can go to show that and rename obstacle two Now let's change its positions. Let's put it hundred, one sixty, two twenty. Sorry, it should be hundred. We did it wrong. It should be one sixty, two twenty, two eighty, and three fifty. Well, now it's fine. Now we will add velocity to it. Adding velocity to the obstacles to make them move okay so now we will add only the velocity y so obstacle one velocity would be 30 Copy it and paste it six times. Now do the changes. Obstacle two. Obstacle three. Obstacle four. Obstacle five. Obstacle six. Now you can make them do according to you want. First one should be little lower. Then second one should be higher. Then third one more higher. The fourth one lower. The fifth one more higher, and the sixth one a higher twenty. Now let's give it a run. So well, yeah. Now let's make them bounce. To so, show to make it bounce off from the edges, we are going to first create the edge right and make them bounce off. From the edges, and again, just copy this and paste it six times. Two, three, four, five, six. We need to first add the three edges, right? Now do the changes. Now let's run. Now it's done. Now we will make it move. We are going to make make move. We make move move make layer move. To make the layer move, we are going to add a statement. If t down is right, then its x position layer dot x position would be layer. 
डॉट एक्स प्लस फाइव कॉपी एट एंड पी से कर दो टाइम टू इट फॉर लेफ्ट एंड गो टू शोर्ट एज एंड जस्ट थ्री डेज टू थ्री लेयर इज टचिंग बीस इफ प्लेयर इज टचिंग Obstacle one. Actually, it will not come. Play checking obstacle one. Then its x position and y position would be initial. So its y position is eighteen and three fifty. Now we have to add it for all, for all the things. But do you think it's right that we should copy it again and do it so many times? No. And the result is going to be after all the same. So for that we will add H K to that whether it touches obstacle one, obstacle two, obstacle three like that. So copy it. And two. I'll do obstacle two. You might be thinking, like I was also not getting this key for my first time in my keyboard. I was not getting it. So if you are also not getting it, it's actually the standing line above enter in a keyboard above enter. There is one key. Press Shift plus that key. But if still you are not getting, go to Max and. Here is the key, so you can drag it and put it. Okay, so this is the key. If you are not getting, suppose in your, you are not getting it in your what? In your keyboard. Plus, you can also do one more thing. If you are still not getting, you can do it all separate. Maybe you can do like that way also. But to reduce the code, we are. Doing this method. Now obstacle three done. Obstacle four. Obstacle five. And obstacle done. Now let's try it running and check. So. Yes, it's going back to the initial position. Fine. Now we will add one more statement. That if player is touching right edge, which is this right edge edge, if player is touching right edge, then what's going to happen? It's going to show them a text. Going to show a text which is you win. So let me.
make the position by the range of our entries. Now let's make the size bigger. So of course you need to make it above it. That is 30. And then you can put the color of it as white. Done. And plus we will make everything or like this kind of thing. I'm not even able to test. Yes. But wait, it's happening. The text is being shown, but the background has covered it. So we will do it after it operates. Now let's face it. In. But we don't want all these stuffs to be shown. So we will make them visible to all. We will make them visible to all. All the we will clear it of course for but still we will do it. So remember we don't put here that when I go to show this. Here you have to remember that. We actually don't put the two inverted commas here. Okay. So optical two, optical three, four, five. Now let's rename it to its correct form. Now we get and run like see. Yes. Now you can challenge this game to your friends and you can tell them that send me the screenshot if you have win this game. So uh, let's see if your friends can do challenge and the name of the game is Pass the Street. <laughs> 